there, I'm the Lightbulb Guy and in today's video I will show you how to customize the fonts on your WordPress website without touching any code. I will show you two awesome free plugins with quick tutorials on how to use them and I will explain to you the differences between them so you can make a better choice. At the end of this video, you know how to use Google Fonts on your WordPress website or use your own custom font, customize the size and color of the font and more. But before we start, I want to invite you to join the WP Lightbulb course where I will teach you three different techniques to double your revenue of your WordPress website in seven days. It's crazy, but the course is free, so check it out right now. Click here or go to wplightbulb.com course. Now about the fonts, obviously you need to know how to install a plugin. If you don't know, click here to watch my video explaining this and then continue watching this one. So first I will show you how to use any of the 657 font families in Google Fonts on your WordPress website. You can do that with the easy Google Fonts free plugin. After you have installed the plugin, go to Appearance, Customize and you'll notice that a new tab has arrived here. Click on typography and here you can edit the default font for your paragraphs and all six different headings. Just click on edit font and choose a font family. To get an idea for good font, go to google.com slash fonts and scroll until you find something you like. So let's say this one is the chosen one. It looks awful, but let's pretend it's pretty. You can add different decorations. I don't know if anybody will ever use this, but the possibility is there. Then go to appearance to choose the color of the font, the background color, edit the size font, the space between the lines and the space between the letters. And finally go to positioning to edit the margins and padding. And pretty much that's it for this plugin. You can set up the fonts globally and use the font families available in Google Fonts. The next plugin will give you the opportunity to use any font you like and use different fonts in a single post. It's called Use Any Font. After you have installed it, you have to go to Settings, Use Any Font and register for an API key. With the free one, you can add one font to your website. If you're willing to spend 10 bucks, you can add unlimited fonts and use them wherever you want, not just globally. I already have a free API key. Now let's install a font. Just click here, select the font from your computer and you're done. After that you can assign it to be default for a specific tag. I will just mark them all and then click assign font. And now my website is uglier than ever. <laughs> now let's delete that so it will be back to normal. Now I want to show you the real power of this plugin. When you go to edit a post, you notice that there are more options for the fonts. And you can select a part of the post and make it with the font you have already installed or any of the default fonts. So you can use multiple fonts in a single post. That's awesome. That's it for today's video. Which plugin you like more? Tell me in the comments below and also feel free to ask any question. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one and if you're still not a member of the WP Lightweb course, stop wasting your time and start getting more money from your website today. Click here to start now or go to wplightweb.com slash course. Check it down, down. <laughs>